In this video, I'll be discussing and talking about what are the best type of earrings you need to get when it comes to getting an initial piercing, which is a fresh new piercing. So if you're thinking about getting a brand new piercing, then this video is for you. First thing I want to talk about is material and quality. This is super, super, super important when it comes to getting a fresh new piercing or initial piercing. This is important because as soon as you're making a fresh open wound into your body, which is a piercing, you want to make sure the jewelry that's being healed in your piercing is the best material possible that's suitable for you so your body heals properly. If you're talking about us here at Lulu's, mainly we use 14 karat gold. We do offer titanium as well too, but our clients love using our 14 karat gold products. Both 14 karat gold and titanium are really good products to use. They're both hypogenic, safe to use, and they're both nickel free, so you'll be A-OK. -okay. So if you have any type of sensitivity or metal allergies, those are the best options to go for when it comes to piercing your ears. Next up, we're gonna talk about is earring type. This will be a huge variable and will vary studio piercer to piercer or studio to studio. There are gonna be two types of earrings that are most common for piercings. The first one is gonna be those traditional stud earrings with like the butterfly back or has a little clasp in the back. These are your standard traditional earrings. These are you can find literally anywhere. They're the go-to types of earrings. We carry these types of earrings. For us personally, we don't pierce with any of the traditional earrings. We normally pierce with pushback jewelry. The difference between the pushback jewelry and the traditional earrings are the pushback earrings have a flat backing or a flat disc behind the jewelry, which offers a lot more comfortability. The backing of the earring would sit flush against your ear. So it'll be a lot more comfortable. There's not gonna be a poking stick poking you behind the head or hurting you or causing any kind of irritation or any kind of unwanted pain. Um, but regardless of both, if you are getting ear piercing, it is okay to get your ear piercing with regular traditional earrings, but when you move, move up towards college and helix area, it is it's just a lot more easier to get pierced with the pushback jewelry because it's a lot more easier and more, a lot more comfortable. Us here at Lulu's, we mainly pierce with only pushback jewelry. It's a go-to type of earring. It's super comfortable and they just, people love them. So when it comes to pushback jewelry and how they work, it is pretty innovative and it's pretty cool how this jewelry works. There is no threading where you have to screw something on or off. These pushbacks are actually threadless jewelry. So what you pretty much do is the top jewel has a pin where you bend and you fit into the post and that kind of locks the piece into place. These are secure, they do stay in. We use these when it comes to our piercings. They are really cool and people absolutely love them. We covered the material of the jewelry. We covered the types of jewelry and more specifications on each specific type of jewelry. Now we gotta get into styling and design. So when you go and get your ear pierced, it's not about, hey, let me just throw something together and just put something in there. No, that's not what we do when it comes to piercing. When it comes to this piercing, you have to come in account and make sure that you're, you're styling the look together and you're putting a look together. You're not just gonna throw something on to walk out. Well, some people do, but definitely when you come here, we definitely don't do that here. So it's very, very important when it comes to selecting your jewelry option, it's gonna be in your ears for quite some time. So you wanna make sure they look good and they match your aesthetic, they match the style you're going with, and they match the vibe. So it's super important when it comes to getting jewelry that you pick the style that you want and the design that you want. There's so many different styles to choose from. The sky's the limit. So remember, it's really important to keep that in mind when you do go visit a studio, make sure they have a big jewelry selection where it comes to styling ears or you could definitely be comfortable of picking some jewelry out to make sure that you look good. Don't pick anything just to pick anything because that's all they have. No, you want to make sure they have a big variety of jewelry that you feel comfortable when it comes to styling your ears and putting a look together. That covers all the bases we need to do when it comes to picking out the right jewelry when it comes to ear piercing. Don't wait, set up appointments right now by clicking the link in the description section below. If you're looking to get your ear styled and need help putting a look together or you're just starting off ear styling experience, our jewelry advisor and stylist are expertly trained when it comes to putting a look together. Head over to lulusbodies.com. Come visit us here at Lulus.